All right, let's bring in the head coach now of the football, Ford Football Ferns, Yitka Klimkova. Yitka, great to see you. Um, great you're to in Christchurch right what now. What a great team over there. Yeah, it's an awesome team. Uh, I'm really bringing up the rear here. I, th I think she's talking about rear. Go on. Yeah. I don't, yeah, it's not us. It's definitely specific. not us. That's, yeah. Definitely not us. Yitka, um, you're, you're in Christchurch. What's the feeling like down there as you've assembled the Ford Football Ferns for the very first time in New Zealand for four and a half years? Garen, we are so excited to be finally home. You know, four and a half years, it's been a long time, long time uh, since we've played uh, a home, uh, a game at home. So it's been really unique for everybody coming in and, and having that fresh air of New Zealand. That's what brings us energy and excitement during the trainings. And we are very excited uh, to play against Korea on Saturday and on Tuesday. We're going to ask you, Kara, are there any important absences that you've got in the team at the moment? Uh, well, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I have to say, I can't wait to see Ria here in in Christchurch. Obviously, we are missing her so much. Uh, we know how she's important for us on the field and off the field. So having her uh, coming in, uh, that's something uh, special for us. And yeah, we can wait, Ria, to have you back. Yeah, I can't wait to be back as well. And, and like you say, it's just good that I can obviously come down, join the girls and be involved. I think it's going to be a massive opportunity for us and hoping we get two wins out of two and we have a good camp. Yeah, um, yeah Kip, uh, just when we talk about the, the mentality, the, the fortress type mentality, we often talk about club teams, but having home games here for the first time, it's going to be the first opportunity for a New Zealand audience to see the Ferns in person. What is important for you um, See what's important for you to see on the field from this team and for the New Zealand audience to see? You know, um, Jacob, I want to see from us absolutely 100%, even more than that, effort and fight uh, against Korea. That's something what we absolutely can control and having our fans behind us and having this opportunity to finally play uh, a game home, that's what is... Um, uh, that's what we absolutely need to see uh, on the field, that kind of effort and fight and competitiveness. That's number one priority to be successful against Korea. You played Korea just a year ago. Um, what did you learn in those fixtures, Yitka? And have they changed much at all in the last 12 months? Uh, definitely, we, we've learned the biggest lesson learned that we can beat anybody. If we are going to play from the beginning to the end um, with that kind of um, mindset that uh, we are pushing, we are uh, going for it, even if it's 80th minute of the field, on the field, we want to compete to the end. And our second game uh, against Korea was actually when we found the way and scored two goals. And even if we um, didn't keep the ball the same, same way like Korea did, we find a way to win. So that was the biggest lesson learned uh, from those two games. And Yetka, we've just had the USA matches in January announced. That's really the start of the run into the World Cup. Is it getting tangible now? Can you start to quantify this excitement that we're going to have running into the tournament itself? It's so exciting to, uh, to see world champions coming to New Zealand and having another opportunity for us uh, to play home games. Uh, so this is what we were um, really, uh, we wanted to have home games before the World Cup. We wanted to inspire our fans to come to see us and uh, because that's what we need. We already mentioned it. Uh, we want to have uh, 12th player on the field and that kind of advantage of the home World Cup. So every game that we can play uh, at home is so important. Yitka, thanks so much for your time on the Kiwi Football Fix. We'll see you in the uh, beautiful garden city of Christchurch on Saturday. Here we go, Goran. That's it. Thanks, Yitka. <laughs> Good stuff.